so starting with relay scattering so with relay scattering what is happening is you have your incident photon which is the x-ray so this has a wavelength lambda 1 again you can uh, calculate the energy if you know the wavelength so this has a wavelength lambda 1 this is incident on this atom what happens is if this goes through relay scattering the whole the entire atom starts to vibrate with the energy that is given by the photon so all the electrons start vibrating in the same phase and there is no ionization that takes place neither a x-ray is emitted oh sorry there is another x-ray I mean I want to say neither a new x-ray is emitted so this is the same x-ray that came in will go out the only difference is the path has changed so let me just focus a little while on what is scattering so scattering is when the path of a photon changes so ideally this photon should have gone in this path this would have been its actual path but because it is interacting with the atom it changed its path and now it is going with this uh, direction if you will so there is a change in path and whenever there is a change in path that is called a scattering so scattering refers to an interaction that deflects a particle or photon from its original trajectory so that's why it is called Rayleigh scattering Rayleigh is the person who discovered this so in the Rayleigh scattering uh, the incident photon interacts with and excites the total atom so excites means it vibrates in some sense this interaction occurs mainly with low very low energy x-rays such as those used in mammography so that is like 15 to 30 kilo electron volts x-rays so Rayleigh scattering mostly occurs only uh, in this energy range and what happens is during Rayleigh scattering event the electric field of incident photons electromagnetic wave expands energy causing all of the electrons in the scattering atom to oscillate in phase so all these electrons start oscillating in phase and slowly uh, that energy is dissipated again in terms of a x-ray so over here if you notice lambda 1 equals lambda 2 so the energy with which the x-ray entered the atom is the same with which it will exit the atom so there is no ionization there is no energy change there is nothing of that sort that is happening here the atom's electron cloud immediately radiates this energy emitting a photon of same energy but in a slightly different direction and in this interaction electrons are not ejected that's what just I said is scattering good what do you what do you feel is this something that we want do we want scattering in our images what do you feel no and anybody else no why why is scattering bad correct exactly so what's happening is let's say I have a uh, x-ray that is over here and because of the interaction with a cell it deviated its path now let's say I have another path or another x-ray which came from here and that did not undergo relay scattering so that did not change its path and it went straight so what is happening is the image of this particular uh, the, uh, the image of these positions or these regions over here is formed at this place 
and the image of this position is also formed at this place so it's an overlap of two uh, of images of the two places and that's what uh, blurs the image so scattering is not good so rayleigh scattering is something that we don't want in our x rays to occur or x ray image to occur So as we saw, it has low probability of occurrence in the diagnostic energy range. Only for mammography, uh, there is a slight, uh, I would say, hindrance because of Rayleigh. In soft tissue, Rayleigh scattering accounts for less than 5% of X-ray interaction, about 70 kilo electron volts. So, if there is an X-ray with energy 70 kilo electron volts, there is a less than 5% chance that a Rayleigh scattering will occur in a soft tissue. And uh, at most, only accounts for about 10% interactions at 30 kilo electron volts. So, mammography mostly uses this range. So, still in mammography as well, it is about 10% chance that a Rayleigh scattering can occur. So, that's good. I mean, Rayleigh scattering has low probability and we don't want Rayleigh scattering. So, that's good. So these are also called as coherent or classical scattering.